Love from Made by Marley and I'm going to be showing you today how I painted this Frida Kahlo inspired uh, dresser. So stick with me and I'll give you a quick rundown on what I did. So this is what I'm going to be painting today, this little cupboard. I'm going to sand the front and give it a really good clean and then I've custom mixed a blue with a chalk paint and I'll add the paint colour in the description box. And this is it with one colour, coat of colour and I've left Frida's face where I'm going to paint it all in. This is it with two colours, coats of the blue and Frida's face has been given two coats of pink chalk paint. This is me just getting some black acrylic paint. And I'm just painting in Frida's hair. I painted the black bit on the top drawer, but I get rid of that in a minute because I'm going to be putting a transfer and I didn't want it to detract from that. So that's me just pointing out that I've got rid of that. And this is where she is so far. So I've done some wispy bits in her hair just to give it to make it look like it's got some movement for when I apply some of the flowery transfers. Because the wallflower transfer from my idea will really make her, her come to life. Her floral arrangement in her hair will really look quite quite good with you know a little bit of movement and where I'm going to add them and what I'm doing now is I'm just using a, a small artist brush and some black acrylic and I'm just painting in uh, Frida Kahlo's kind of um, relatable eyebrows everybody can recognize them and I'm just putting making sure they're kind of even it's tricky painting across two cupboard doors and I'm having to keep holding the doors closed because I've taken the hardware off because I'm going to be putting a hook on at the end um, to keep everything secure so because I didn't want two knobs or handles being somewhere in the middle of her face I thought that would look a little bit daft so I'm going to have a hook down the bottom to make it look like it appears to be a part of her necklace um, so I've painted in her, her eyes and I've given a little sort of like eyelash detail along the bottom of that line. You do not have to be a great artist to paint like this. It's just kind of block colour and it's just a hint of what you're going for and it's easily recognisable and it should be accessible for everybody to have a go at this if, if they want. Um, painting in her cheeks with some crimson and white acrylic that I've mixed and that same crimson and white acrylic mix the hot pink is um, painting in her lips, again holding the cupboard front because this was kind of awkward. It speeded up um, for the film but it took me a little bit to kind of get it right because of the two drawers. And what I'm doing now is I'm just highlighting her lips with a little bit of crimson acrylic just to give her lips a little bit of um, dimension um, just to kind of finish them off. The next thing I go and do is I get my palette knife and I mix various different colours and I apply them to the front of the unit um, just like that to give it to pull it all together and give it so much more interest. Here's me applying the IOD wall flower transfers for the flowers in her hair and this is her so far. Now she's no hardware on yet and she hasn't been sealed but the next pictures you'll see she's got her hardware on. I've also applied two patches of decoupage just for extra interest. So I've used black pool industrial handles on the top and as you can see I've used that um, hook system to lock her at the bottom so that it didn't detract from the design. And that's how that's her done so I hope you've enjoyed this. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more furniture makeovers from me, I do one once a week, then hit the um, subscribe button and um, push the bell um, so that you're notified when I release more videos and also during the week there'll be an upcycle for Martin and I. So stay tuned and we'll see you again next time.